Lebanon's Iran-backed Hezbollah movement and Israel have traded deadly cross-border fire on a near-daily basis since war broke out in October between Israel and Gaza's Hamas rulers, a Hezbollah ally. An Israeli airstrike in southern Lebanon killed three paramedics from the militant group Hezbollah, state media in Lebanon reported. Hours after a missile strike blamed on the militants killed at least one foreign worker in northern Israel, the attacks took place as U.S. Special Envoy Amos Hochstein was arriving in Beirut for meetings with Lebanese officials, the U.S. envoy urged calm along Israel's border with its northern neighbor, Lebanon, as the ongoing war in Gaza sparks fears of a wider conflict in the Middle East. Shortly after the deadly strike, Hezbollah said it launched dozens of rockets at the Israeli kibbutz of Kfar Blum, six kilometers from the nearest border point. The Iran-backed group also said it targeted a building in the Israeli city of Kiryat Shmona. It said it acted in response to the Israeli aggression against the villages of the south and the homes of civilians, among them the strike on the house in Hula. The Lebanese Shiite movement also said it carried out several attacks on Israeli military positions on the border on March 5. The Iran-backed group also said it targeted a building in the Israeli city of Kiryat Sh Mona. It said it acted in response to the Israeli aggression against the villages of the south and the homes of civilians, among them the strike on the house in Hula.